Good morning. Let's play some chess. 15 minutes, 10 seconds increments. Here we go. And we are 1300 now, playing against a 1250, 1260. Uh, Gleb 117 from Ukraine. A long time member. And we're playing the Carol. Oh, and we're facing the Hillbilly. We had the Hillbilly before. Let's see how he plays it out. The last one went with the Bishop back. And I believe he just developed normally with, uh, with the knight out, bishop out. And I believe that Stuckfist said that the bishop out was a little bit better. But I just keep with, uh, with the knight out. Um, so I can get a tempo on the queen if it comes out. Um, so he's attacking the pawn twice, but I'm defending twice. Uh, I'm considering this move. Still. Of course he can kick me out, but I can reroute. can also go here. Depends on what I want. Um, I can also develop the knight. The knight first, that's also an, uh, an option. He wants to develop the bishop, maybe the knight will come here. It's all possible. Uh, I think I will develop the bishop here. Now he can give me a check. Is that the idea? But I can block with the knight. That's not really scary. Let's go back. Now he cannot develop the knight towards normal square. Now the bishop comes out. I'm almost certain that that is what he wants. Followed up by this. I have a strong feeling. Now, if he comes here, I can give him a check. That forces the knight to go back. Then I can attack the knight. It's a pink piece. I actually win that piece in that scenario. So I think I will just stick to my development here. So yeah, I can offer the trade of bishops. But I also want to give my opponent the time to go here, I think. So what if I do this, just developing? Maybe he takes the knight, then I take, and then if he gives the check, then I have no pieces to, uh, Defend the check with actually. Uh, 
that would be nasty. So here takes for instance I take he gives the check. Uh, I have a knight that can block. I think I'm fine. I want this move. And then here I can give this check. Uh, yep. And you have to go back. Then I can go here. I like that. Let's let's play like that. I have a strong feeling that my opponent wants that. But if he doesn't, then I will castle. So he's not going for that plan. He's not going for that. Now I'm thinking about this move anyway. But then he, he can castle now. So I'm not winning a piece there. But I can attack it. I can attack the knight. Where's the knight going? Maybe to the center. I can take. He has to take back with that pawn. So here, I'm really trying to force him to go here. That wins a piece. That's the most easiest thing to do. Of course, I can also just develop the knight first. That's also an idea. Um, but there's also something I want to use the pin, you know. Um, let me see, I can go here. No, I should have done that right away. I think I will just stick. Stick to the night out, just keep it simple. I know I want that move anyway, so is this a problem here, here, here? Not really. I'm just going here. Just play simple chess. My opponent is going to castle then, I think. And then I will too. Mm. No, he goes for that plan anyway. So, <clears throat> of course I can bring the rook. But I was thinking about this check. Who's going to block the check? The knight has to go back and this just wins a piece. It's just... I don't see a different way. Because there's no way he can... Uh, Counterattack my queen. Mm. 
yeah so this is uh, that's a piece and I can take the pawn but that feels that feels greedy um, because he gets a tempo on it although I can come back with check it is a free pawn take I know this is the greedy this is the greedy uh, um, the greedy choice um, but it is a free pawn you know My king still stuck in the center. I think I'm going to take it. Wait. So check. What if he attacks me? Or the check take? I have this check. Yeah, that's. I think. I think I'm getting out of here. So take. Of course, if he offers a queen trade, that would be nice. But he's not. Um, now I'm going to castle here. Yeah, I'm definitely going to castle. Now he has his um, queen and a pin. So he attacks, he attacks my bishop. I do have this uh, tempo move. I think the easiest thing to do is just to retreat the bishop here. Here. And he's going for that. Um, I don't want to get my knight here. Although... Huh. Now this piece is loose, but I'm not... It's not going to be easy to win that piece. I think I will just... Drop the bishop back here. Now I'm a little bit underdeveloped, so if I can get my rooks to the center, that would be nice. I also like this move, just to take that bishop out. I think that's a strong bishop. Of course, he can attack me. In that case, and in that case, I think we need to bail out with this check. Not 
very happy with the position, but I think uh, now wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait. Because what is he threatening? First thing first, I have this move attacking the queen. I want to take a bishop out. Now, hmm. but if I take and he takes back, he gets some open files he can work with. That is true. Maybe I want to save this move. Um, and just bring a rook here, just to activate a rook. But I just, I just like the idea of taking the bishop out and getting my knight here. Yeah, I, 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 I like this move. I like this move a lot. Let's go. Take the bishop and my next move will be this. Uh, if he attacks me, I take the queen with check. If he offers me a queen trade, I will definitely take. Or not. Hmm. I don't have to. It's good to trade pieces when you're up, but uh, he also made quite some weaknesses around the king, which uh, maybe are exploitable. I don't know. Okay, so he's bringing his queen there. So I still think uh, I want to take, of course, he is going to take back in some case. And then I have this nasty move, pinning the king to the queen, or the queen to the king. Uh, I think this is the only move. Um, uh, I can also set it up. No, but then he has this move right away. Nah, that's not good. Take the bishop. Then this is a strong move. This is forced. Um, takes, takes. Mm. 
There's a pawn hanging. There's a lot of stuff hanging. So that's four. So we take. Uh, I can take the pawn. I think I will. Can also attack the queen. Uh, it's too bad this is not working. Um, is there a way I can make that move work somehow? I don't know. Um, I think the easiest thing to do is to trade queens in this uh, in this scenario. Well, he doesn't have to, of course. We can uh, pre-move that in the event of uh, trading queens. And then we need to bring our rooks. And then try to uh, try to convert this. Now he still has a knight. Knights are tricky. I absolutely hate knights. They can fork stuff. Um, so my opponent in deep thinking now. I don't think he wants to trade queens. No, he doesn't. Um, maybe I can force queen trades. Um, now let me think about it. Because I want to activate, I want to activate my knight. And what he is going to do, he's going to bring the rook. He's going to bring one of the rooks to the place where my queen is now. Um, that is just what he is going to do. Now let me think about it for a second. I can go here. And in the case that he attacks me, I can force some trades. But he, he, he comes in with the rook. He comes in with the rook. He gets, he gets, he gets counterplay for sure. Absolutely. Um, But I like my knight here. Yeah, he got he gets counterplay. He gets the rook to d7. But my idea now is very simple. It's just to force a queen trade. Of course, he can prevent that with the rook move. Um, yeah, so we go here, that was the entire idea, so now it's forced, 
and oh he's going to do that but i'm going to take the queen first with check and then i will take the rook uh i think that was not his best decision now he's, <laughs> he's going to trap to trap my bishop if i'm not careful let's uh, let's go here uh, i almost wanted to do something different i wanted to bring the rook behind the pawn um luckily i saw in time that my uh that he could trap my bishop there. Now his knight doesn't have a lot of places to go to. So um, so yeah, so he's attacking he's attacking my uh, my uh, my bishop. Um, now what I think I'm going to do is uh, to uh, and get the rook behind that just to protect it my other rook wants to go to the open file let's see where does he want to go i don't know let's get the rook i can also get the rook behind the pawn and yeah, start pushing that thing Maybe that's uh, that's a better idea. I also need some loot for my uh, for my uh, um, for my uh, king. So maybe it's a good idea to start that process, so I don't have to worry about back rank mates. I need to keep an eye on the clock. One minute and thirty seconds left. Hmm. Now I can force some trades here. Now you have, okay, so uh, and now we just push the pawn. We push the pawn. And the king is cut off. I can give this check that forces a tray of a lot of pieces and then I will only have a rook. Um, which should be easily winning. So let's, uh, let's do that. Giving back a pawn. Now it is uh, a matter of um, activate the king. Active king is important. Now let's get the rook there and let's try to pick up a few pawns that is uh, an important thing of cleaning up so now I get a majority of the king sides oh, okay he resigns yeah yeah there was this game is uh, is lost um, well it was an interesting game um yeah that peace blunder in the beginning that's uh yeah that's what that's what uh lost him the game um unfortunate but he played a good game and uh yeah i think he did and let's see the analysis so yeah 87 against 93 yeah that was uh, it was a, a, a good game um, and if he didn't blunder that piece then uh, yeah I don't know what would have happened because he got a lot of peace activity 
let me see here here yeah that's uh, what I was waiting for okay so taking the pawn was okay it was not too dangerous here I had the feeling I had some tactics but I just kept it simple search for opportunities to trade as much pieces as possible Oh yeah, this was a, this was a mistake of my opponent. Uh, yeah, he took the knight, but then yeah, he lost the exchange there. Activating the rooks. Yep, forcing more trades. And here I sacrificed the pawn. What's not the best move, but it simplifies, which makes it uh, a lot more easier to play. And then here uh, he resigned. Well, thank you for the game. Um, yeah, that was that was a nice game. Um, I want to thank you for watching. If you're still watching, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. And then I will see you back tomorrow for a new game. Enjoy the rest of your day. See ya.